to replay with Alexa. Hi everybody, it's Alexa. And today we are going to be learning about water transportation. Can you say that with me? Water transportation. Awesome everybody. Now when I think of water transportation, I think of many different kinds. How about you? Can you think of some forms of water transportation for me? If you know some of the answers, you can yell them out right now. Awesome. Awesome. Amazing, everybody. So many different forms of water transportation. Now when I think of water transportation, I think of two different types. One, two. And you guys listed these forms of transportation also. The first form of water transportation I'm thinking of is a boat. Can everybody say that with me? Boat. Awesome. The next form of water transportation that I'm thinking of is called a submarine. Now I know it's a little tricky to say. The word is a little longer than the word boat. But let's say that all together. Submarine. Awesome. Now my friends, I have another question. Do you think a boat floats or does a boat sink? If you think you know the answer, you can tell me now. Awesome! That is correct, my friends. That is so amazing that you knew that answer. A boat floats at the top of the water. Now here's my next question. How about a submarine? Do you think a submarine floats at the top like a boat? Or does it sink to the bottom of the water? If you think you know this answer, you can tell me now. Awesome! That is correct. A submarine sinks to the bottom, a boat floats, and the submarine starts by floating and makes its way down to the bottom. It sinks all the way down. Now because we're talking about floating and sinking, I thought that it would be super fun if we played a game together. Does that sound good, everybody? Awesome. My game that I want to play is called Sink or Float. Can you say that with me? Sink or Float. Awesome. Now I have my big jug of water right over here. Now this is going to be an activity that we watch. Afterwards, when I'm finished, you can go and do this activity with your mommy or your daddy or maybe you have a sibling at home that you would like to play with. The reason that we're not going to do this activity together is because it is very important that we ask our mommies and our daddies for permission. Permission means that we are asking before we take certain materials for our activity. Does that sound good, my friends? If that sounds good, can you show me two thumbs up and can you say, I'm ready. Awesome. Let's begin. So the first item that I have over here is a penny. And I want to take some guesses. Do you think my penny is going to float at the top just like a boat? Or do you think my penny is going to sink all the way to the bottom? 
If you think you know the answer, you can tell me now. Awesome. 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 Amazing guesses, my friends. I love when we each guess different answers. None of us know the right answer until we try it out for ourselves. So I'm gonna count me in and let's see what happens to the penny. One, two, and three. Did everybody see? What happened to my penny? Did it flow to the top? Or did it sink to the bottom? That is correct. The penny sunk to the bottom just like a submarine. Give yourself a big round of applause. That was an awesome guess, my friends. Now who's ready to see my next item? Awesome. The next item I'm gonna grab is a ball. Now I want to see if you know the answer. Do you think this ball is going to float at the top? Or do you think it's going to sink to the bottom just like my penny and just like a real submarine? If you think you know the answer, you can yell it out now. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, everybody. Those are amazing guesses. But again, we won't know the real answer until we throw the ball in. So can you guys count me in this time? Let's count to three, and then I'll throw the ball inside. One, two, and three. Wow, look at this. The ball floated at the top just like a boat. Amazing guesses, everybody. So let's recap before we continue. Our penny floated from the top and sunk all the way to the bottom. So the penny sinks. Now how about the ball? The ball didn't look like it went underwater at all. So the ball floats at the top, just like a boat. Awesome, everybody. If you're ready to continue, can you put your arm all the way up to the sky? And can you say, I'm ready? Awesome, let's continue. Our next item is a hair clip. Can everyone say hair clip? Now it's really tiny, just like the penny. So let's take some guesses before I throw it in the water. Do you think my hair clip is going to float like a boat in this ball? Or is it going to sink all the way to the bottom like my penny? Now it's your turn to guess. So if you think you may know the answer, you can yell it out now. Awesome. Awesome. Amazing. What cool guesses. And I love that we're all guessing different answers. So here I go. I'm gonna take my hair clip and I'm gonna Throw it in the water. Let's count to three again before I throw it in. One, two, and three. Awesome. Does everybody see here? My hair clip sunk all the way to the bottom, just like a submarine. Can you say that with me? Submarine. Awesome, everybody. So 
So before we continue, let's do a little recap. We have our ball that floats at the top like a boat. We have our penny that sunk to the bottom just like a submarine. And now we have the hair clip. See the hair clip over here? The hair clip also sunk to the bottom. Awesome, everybody. Are you ready to continue? Because I have two more items to put in the jug. Ready? My next item is a plastic piece of chicken. It's not real. It's just a toy. Now here's where our guessing comes in. Do you think the chicken is going to float? Or do you think the chicken is going to sink just like my penny in the clip? If you know the answer, you can tell me now. Awesome. Awesome. Incredible guesses, everybody. Let's see what the right answer is going to be. Ready, set, go. Check that out. Just like the ball, the chicken floated at the top. Can everybody see? I have my ball and my chicken at the top. And I have my penny and my hair clip on the bottom. So awesome, everybody. We have two items that float and two items that sink. Let's continue. Next, I have a little cup. Can everybody see my cup? Awesome. Now let's take some guesses. Do you think my cup is gonna float on the top of the water? just like a boat would? Or do you think the cup is going to sink to the bottom just like a submarine? If you think you know this answer, you can shout it out now. Awesome. Awesome. Great job, everybody. Such different answers, and all of them are so amazing. Some of you think that this cup is going to float, and some of you think that this cup is going to sink. Let's find out for ourselves. This is our last item. Ready, everybody? Let's count me in. One, two, and Three. Check it out. Does everybody see my cup? My cup floated to the top just like what form of transportation? That's right. Amazing job, everybody. The cup floats to the top just like a boat. Absolutely amazing. So let's do a recap of all of these items I have in my jug. First we put the penny in and the penny sunk to the bottom like a submarine. Next we took the clip and we put it in the water and that also sunk right to the bottom just like the penny and just like a submarine. Then we have these three items at the top that are surely floating just like a... That's right, a boat. We got chicken, we have a ball, and we have a cup. So one, two, three items float on top like a boat. And one, two items sunk like a submarine. That was absolutely amazing, everybody. I had so much fun playing sink or flow with you. 
Now remember, you can do this at home with mummy and daddy. But remember, you have to ask for permission. That means that we're asking to grab materials before we take them ourselves. Amazing job, everybody. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye. Goodbye.